The 5G network provides high-speed, low-latency internet connectivity. The network consists of three radios positioned on three masts around the site to provide total coverage in all locations. The network is completely wireless, real first for the construction industry. We're bringing together some new technology which has never been tried in this environment before. It's been quite a challenge to get the thing working. To take advantage of the high-speed connectivity, we're deploying several different technology applications. One of them is live streaming from the drone. We've also got the construction robot provided by Boston Dynamics in conjunction with Trimble, where we can automate the scanning process traditionally undertaken by engineers on site. The advantages of legs are significant, whether that's an interior commercial construction environment that's full of materials on the ground and you know things like stairs and gaps. The kind of initial application we should really be doubling down on is the autonomous laser scanning piece. You're one of the very first customers bringing that to bear. And it's special because it's in the context of a private 5G spectrum, which is really good for running remote robots. Um, so we're excited about the potentials there. Initially, the operation of the robot is using a keypad and the operator following closely behind. However, now we've achieved true remote operation using the private 5G network, which means the operator can be anywhere in the world. We're using that in conjunction with the scanner to automate the scanning process traditionally undertaken by engineers on site. The idea is that we can free up their time to do more valuable work. So the robot can operate in all weathers. It can also operate in hazardous environments where we have to put in measures to protect people that were doing those tasks. This isn't like an incremental improvement. Like this is a huge step up in what you're able to do. And it's not just spot and robotics. It cuts across all the ways that you communicate and transfer survey information, the ways you manage BIM. So here we have BAMCAM, which is one of the exemplar technologies that we've got deployed, which uses the 5G network. We've got multiple camera locations across the site to provide a live view of the site activities. Simple, easy way for people to have a quick insight into what's going on on site, not only on that day, but throughout the month, the progress of the month. It also helps the commercial team to keep track of costs without having to come out onto the site. The commercial team can change the camera views and they can look at what's in the laydown area. They can check if we've had certain deliveries for programme key dates that we need to hit. The last week I was off with COVID, so I was self-isolating up my accommodation in Lerwick. So during that time, obviously sitting in the accommodation, I was able to look through BAMCAM, look at the works going round about the site, to identify any issues, and then I was able to feed that back to the guys that was on site. It's also a benefit if you're in the office, and if there's an area that's causing concern or you see something that's not right, you could actually go out and then just go straight to that one location and deal with the issues that you're seeing through the cameras. Christmas time and stuff like that, when the job shut down, people could still be monitoring what's going on on site. The good thing with checking progress through the BAM cameras, you could actually go back two days a week and then compare your works, how long it's actually progressed to do, to do some jobs. I had a previous incident where we noticed there was damage on part of the cladding at one of the side walls on the entrance door. So we looked back previous pictures and we were able to identify what had caused the damage and who was at fault for the damage. We're also working with Plinks to try out their technology, which is enhanced through the use of 5G. Construction robotics is another area we are exploring. Here we've got autonomous delivery vehicles we're trialling. They can carry up to 80 kilos and can tow up to 500 kilos. For this part of the 5G network, it's too far from the mains power grid, so we've repurposed this lighting set to use as a generator. However, it burns diesel. We don't want to be burning more diesel, so we've come up with a renewable power solution, which uses a mixture of solar, wind, and a battery storage bank. This is the control center for the renewable power solution. It regulates the power from the solar, the wind, and the battery storage bank, and also has a modem so we can monitor the performance remotely. And here's the bank of batteries that provides continuity of power in case there's no wind and no sunshine. 